Sorry, I'm not very good at small talk. I'm getting stronger and stronger. I hope someday I can purchase more furniture for my house. It's nice to relax once in a while. Do you think someday I can be cool? Do you think Nexus likes girls with short hair? Oh, a visitor? Make yourself at home. Oh, er, um, sorry. Don't mind me. I was just meditating. Hello. It's nice to see you. I wonder if I should make curry or stew tonight. So, do I prefer spending my days off indoors or outdoors? Well, I prefer the outdoors. I love the smell of the crisp morning air. If I were an ice cream flavor, I'd definitely be vanilla, plain and inconspicuous. Just like me. If you ask me, these sorts of mannerisms can make someone just irresistible. I like people who stand up for their beliefs and champion for those less fortunate than them. Though admittedly, I find it hard not to like anyone in a cave. These days I'm studying. I'm studying the mastery of rune casting. Nexus has been helping me learn, but I still have a long way to go. I think I could probably talk about this for an hour to a large crowd. Archery. It's probably all I could talk about in front of people for that long without getting flustered or boring them. I really want to quit this, but I just can't. Disliking Ariella. She seems nice, but she makes me so mad. The main thing I'm looking for in a life partner is blonde hair, a strong, battle, hardened body, and an eye for fashionable capes. Even though you can't physically see it, this is something that's important to me, my father. I'm super envious of this, Ariella. I feel terrible, but the way she glorifies all the weird stuff she does, and the way she puts her hands all over Nexus, it's inappropriate. It makes me so mad. When it comes to looking for love, this is how I'm doing it. I would not make the first move. I can't. Making the first move? That. That would be so embarrassing. Besides, it's improper for a lady to be so forward. I suppose I just wait. When I was a kid, I always played like this. Sweet the shrine. It was this lovely. Game Mother invented where we used a broom to brush rubbish off of the stone. Walkways leading to the shrine. The winner got to skip their daily caning. Here's what has surprised me the most in my life so far. Surviving my torso being turned inside out. I have to be honest, I really thought I was a goner. Here's something I think best shows off my abilities. Housework. Because of my work at the shrine, I've gotten very good at cleaning. I would say that I'm not a half bad chef either. 
If I had the choice, I would want to transform into this superhero. I suppose Captain Awesome. It must be nice to be awesome all of the time. Here's my advice on how to make new friends. Just be yourself. If someone doesn't like you for who you are, you don't want to be friends with them anyway. I might not have done it yet, but I'd really like to try this. Sword skating. It looks so cool, but it seems so impractical and dangerous. I never brought myself to trying it. My favorite subject in school? First aid. The prospect of helping people always motivated me to get better. This is super important to me. My friends, they've shown me the way whenever I've had doubts and inspired me to become a stronger, more confident, and overall better person. I think this is the coolest thing ever. Nexus. Oh. Oh no. Did I say that out loud? How? Embarrassing. I meant to say capes. No. Wait. That's too obvious too. Sorry. Can we change the subject? I'd really like to give this a go in the near future. I'd like to learn how to be more forward with my feelings. I've gotten better at speaking my mind, but I need a little help. Speaking my heart. I love doing this on my days off. Cook. I enjoy cooking even on my busy days. But, it's more enjoyable when I can take my time and don't have to do it at the end of a long day. When I stumble upon some free time, I love doing this. Practice my archery and try out new recipes. I can't stand those weird ethanol berries that grow in the mystic woods. Never again. Do I follow my heart or mind? Well, I try to follow my mind whenever possible, but... Sometimes the call of my heart is too loud to ignore. I usually find it was the right thing to do all along. I have so many, but here is one of my current aspirations. To become strong enough to protect myself and the people I hold dear. I feel I need to apologize to this person. Crow. I think deep down he might be a good, complex person. But I just can't look past his goofy, brutish exterior. I feel terrible. This is for sure my favorite soft drink. Does tea count? I like chai tea. If I could have one wish granted, it would be, I would wish to meet my father, if it would be alright to use it for my own needs. Wanna know what I'd spend my 10 stat points on if I was an RPG character? I would try to focus on building my stats to suit a magic casting healer. It's important to emphasize what you're good at. My favorite word is shine. You can apply it a lot. You can shine through your talents. You can shine the floors and make them look pretty. Or you can shoot down your enemies with shining arrows. This is what I have in my pocket. Throwing knives. Now you know. Here's the moment I felt super cool. When Nexus was wounded by his father, and I had to face him by myself. It was short-lived and I got hurt badly, but I felt cool fighting. My hardest to protect him. I could gladly live without this a thing. Ariella, wait, did I say that out loud? Oh dear. I 
I'd really like to sell this to someone. My curry recipe. Ideally, I'd make millions and become very wealthy. But that may be overly ambitious. When I think pop star, guess who springs to mind? Supernovas. When I hear the word feast, guess what springs to mind? Encha and crow rending. Dead flesh to pieces and consuming everything in sight. They have no cell control. I love singing this song. The Great Sage's Ballad. It's so beautiful and inspiring. This is something I'd like to do when I'm older. Start a family. This is something I own that I think could sell for a high price. My adamantine mechanical bow would have to sell for a lot if I were to part with it. But, I'd rather keep it by my side. I don't talk about it much, but this is what I consider my secret hobby, singing. Sometimes I wish I was a beautiful mermaid, swimming free of any cares in the world, letting my voice out and inspiring awe in all that hear it. I think it would be really interesting to have a rivalry with this fictional character, Yuna, from Final Fantasy. I know our rivalry would be friendly, and I'm sure we could learn a lot from each other. In just a few words, here's what happiness means to me. Being loved and appreciated. Being able to wake up each morning knowing that you matter, and that people care about you. Nothing makes me happier than doing this. Look after my friends. Be it through moral support, nursing them through a sickness, or treating their wounds. It always feels good to help my friends. I really regret buying this candy for Lavi every time. I can't stand the sound of thunder. It's always so startling when it catches you by surprise. I don't think most people care much about it, but I'm super into this cleaning. I learned to enjoy it at a young age, and now the easiest way for me to concentrate is to tidy things up a bit. This is something I've fallen in love with at first sight. Oh my. Oh gosh. On second thought, I don't think I can do this. I could never pull off this outfit. A tube top. That's putting more faith in gravity than I'm comfortable with. And just the thought of showing that much skin makes me blush. my favorite female celebrity. Well, Ira had her face printed on t-shirts after she defeated Zeke Lockman in that tournament. So if she counts as a celebrity now, she would be my favorite. If I could peer into someone's heart, I would pick Nexus. There are things I wish to know about him. Things only his heart could tell me. I would really, really, really like to visit. I enjoyed the sacred forest, and would love to go back sometime. If I was gonna write a book, it would be about this. The fine art of using archery as a means of obtaining spiritual enlightenment. My training regiment became a vital time of meditation that helped me through a lot of tough times growing up. I get my hair cut, I trim it every 8 or 9 days or so. It's wise to keep it short for battle. I used to wear it long, but I cut it all off when I vowed to fight for Okura's safety. Here's 
Here's my advice on how to become more popular. Be kind and help others. Everyone likes a person that they can depend on. When it comes to looking for love, this is how I'm doing it. I can't. Making the first move? That. That would be so embarrassing. Besides, it's improper for a lady to be so forward. Please come again.